Hi guys, this is George back here with another vlog and today we are back here at Plopsaland de Pan. We were last here at this park about two years ago and last time we were at this park was only a couple of days after they announced that they were going to be building a Mack Rides Extreme Spinning Coaster and now we are back here in 2021 and that coaster has now opened and we're going to be riding it today. It's called the Ride to Happiness and the park have teamed up with Tomorrowland which is a music festival in Belgium to create this ride so that is what the ride is themed to hence the very unique name and theme so we're gonna go straight over there hopefully it's not gonna have too big queues I know the hotel was fully booked last night so we are expecting some crowds today but hopefully we won't be waiting too long for this coaster it is more the family rides that get more busy at this park because it is more of a family park but hopefully we will get a few rides on it so here's the hotel here this is also new for 2021 I believe very very nice I don't remember it being here last time so yeah I'm pretty sure it's new for this year so here we go let's go and get in the park it's about 9 30 the park opens at 10 so hopefully they'll let us in maybe a little bit early and we can go and get to the ride we want to go to but let's go and ride the ride to happiness this is one of my biggest bucket list coasters out there so let's go and do it my first Mac extreme spinning coaster We've just been let into the park. We're heading to the Ride to Happiness. It's pretty close to the entrance. It's literally we're pretty much right here now. We just need to take a right here. And then we're going to be in the brand new area where this coaster is. Here we go. I cannot wait to ride this. Hopefully queue times aren't going to be so bad because we've all just only been just been let in. And here it is. The second extreme spinning coaster to be built. The original is at Silver Dollar City and that's Time Traveller. This, I've heard, is a lot better than Time Traveller. Oh, look at the Jojo roll over there. It takes it so slow. Look at this. One of my biggest bucket list coasters. And we are about to ride. Here we go, heading into the queue now. I've heard this is a very well themed queue. Look at this. This is really atmospheric. Oh, look at this. Tension is really building now. You get into this queue and the anticipation is building up even more than it already was when you walk through the area. Look at this. Quite a lot of people, pretty much everyone who was waited by the gate has rushed over here, but we've been one of the first people in. So we're hopefully going to be on one of the first trains today. Look at this. All the lights in the floor as well. Here we go. Just a short wait and then we should be on. I can take you guys on the rides here at Plopsaland as well. So we will have on-ride footage from the ride to happiness as well as all the other rides we ride today. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> There's a train coming back into the station there. Literally, we go just up here. There's a little bit more queuing in there, I think. And then we're going to get on this brand new ride. It's got onboard audio as well. So here we go. Just climb over here. <laughs> There we go, right, let's go and get on. The next part of this vlog you're gonna see is gonna be on ride footage of this brand new coaster. Here we go, guys. We're about to get a dispatch. Oh, here we go, the ride to happiness. Here we go, straight into the Jojo roll. Oh my gosh. Oh yes! Here we go, ready for launch number one. The onboard audio is already making this even better. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy crap, that launch is intense! Here we go! There we 
go. Oh my God, that was absolutely, those launches were so intense. So then guys, there we go. We have just come off the ride to happiness. First ever time on an extreme spinning coaster. And that is absolutely incredible. That was so much more intense than I was expecting it to be, especially from a Mac. Normally, launches on Mac are not the most intense. They were a lot more intense than I was expecting. And with that, each ride, of course, is gonna be different with the fact there's a spinning coaster. So you could end up being launched backwards, sideways, forwards. You, you don't know. Look at that over there. You can get some amazing views of it from off-ride as well. The queue is absolutely incredible. The theming around the area is absolutely incredible. And the ride is incredible as well. You've only got the lap bar holding you in on there, which makes it feel so much more, more free. And then you have the onboard audio as well, which just makes it even better. Absolutely incredible roller coaster. Definitely somewhere in the top 20, maybe even the top 10, but I need some more rides on it later to see if it warms up at all throughout the day. And I'd like to try it in some more seating positions as well. Get a ride on the front, get a ride on the back, and see, because of course each ride is going to be different. So here we go. We're going to go over, over to Heidi now, the GCI wooden coaster here at the park. We, we rode this last time, and it's a near clone of White Lightning at Fun Spot Orlando, but this is a lot better than White White Lightning. I found White Lightning quite tame. This one is a lot more aggressive. So let's go and give this a ride. Here we go. Time for a ride on Heidi. Oh, it's just started to rain. Oh. Good family wooden coaster. Good, what's that like? Just had a ride on Heidi there, the GCI wooden coaster that opened in 2017. It was good, it's a good family coaster. It's not as aggressive as I remembered it. I remembered really getting Flung, flung out of my seat on there. However, maybe that's because last time, I'm pretty sure I was in the back. Saying that, I wouldn't really make a difference on that because there's only six rows. So I'll probably have some more rides on it later. It's on a short queue at the moment, but I'm too tempted by the ride to happiness. So I'm gonna go for some more rides on the ride to happiness. And then, Maybe I'll get some re-rides on Heidi. I'd like to do a Nubis today as well. And maybe even the Starflyer as well, if that's on. The weather isn't the best today, but uh, I, I don't know if the Starflyer is open. Hopefully it is, I'd like to give it a ride. Dino Splash isn't open. I was hoping to give that a ride today, but that's not gonna happen, unfortunately. But here we go, let's go. And get some more rides on the Rides Happiness. I won't take you guys on uh, again, unless I get a front row. If I get a front row, then I'll take you on. If I don't, then I won't take you on again. Here we go into the queue. This queue line is brilliant. I absolutely love it in here. It's so atmospheric. It really builds you up for this incredible roller coaster that you're about to ride. So here we go. Let's go and get another ride on this Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster. One of my favourite roller coasters out there in Europe now, if not the world. I still don't know where it's sat uh, in my top 20 or top 10. I've been having a little think about it, but I need some more rides on it before I can make a decision. It's so, so difficult to make a decision when you've been on lots of other incredible roller coasters. And here we go. Oh, the queue's a bit bigger this time. Probably about maybe 15, 20 minutes and we'll be on. There's brilliant operations on here, so hopefully I won't be waiting too long. Thank you. 
Here we go guys, it's not time for a ride on Didrak, the Mac powered coaster. This was quite rough last time, so let's hope it's not going to be as rough this time. And out into the rain, lovely. Oh, it's a lot better than last time. Thank God we did it earlier. Yeah. Wow, well, that was a lot smoother than last time. Still a little bit of a, a jolt to it, but it's a lot smoother than last time. It's only a one lap special though. There we go. So then guys, uh, I've just had another ride on the ride to happiness. I went in the back row this time as well. Oh my God, it is so much more intense in the back row. And as you can probably tell by my hood, it, I started chucking it down, but you probably saw that on the on-ride footage anyway of the drag. It is so much more intense in the back. Oh my God. And of course with that ride, it was a little bit different as well. You don't get as much hang time going through the Jojo roll. However, you do get whipped through it with quite some speed and you do still get some decent hang time as well. A lot more intense on the back. Absolutely brilliant. It's so smooth as well. I was expecting it to be a little bit rougher on the back. Uh, with a bit like Icon with Icon, the closer to the back of the train you are, the rougher the ride is. No, that is still very, very smooth. What an incredible ride. And then also, I just had a ride on it, the Drac. I rode that last time and it was very rough last time I rode it. However, this time, it was so much smoother than last time. It was actually a decent family coach this time. I take back everything that I said about it last time and everything that I've said about it since I last rode it in other videos because that ride was actually decent. It was pretty smooth. I enjoyed it. Still probably one of my least favourite Mac coasters and it's still my least favourite powered coaster. However, it was a lot better than it was last time and the station building is absolutely brilliant as well and the queue line and you go through that big castle. It looks absolutely brilliant and I love the nose car on there as well. The dragon at the front looks really, really cool. So now I think I'm going to go for a ride on the Gerslauer launch coaster here at Plopsland Anubis. This was my previous favourite ride here. However, I think you can all tell what my favourite ride at the park is now. It's that one right there. But there we go. Let's go over to the Gerslau launch coaster, Anubis. It's got a very intense launch, this one, a lot more intense than you might think. So let's go and give it a ride. Here we go, guys. It's time for a ride on Anubis. This has a very intense launch. Here we go, into the rain. Oh, geez, this is going to be quite uncomfortable, I think, because of the rain. Here we go, intense launch. Oh my gosh! a new bit. It's a bit uncomfortable in the rain. But it's a good coaster. 
So then I can just have our ride on a new bus. The weather is starting to get really bad now, so I think that we are going to think about leaving soon. We've got the train to catch as well. We need to go on our uh, on the Euro Tunnel to get back home. I believe that's in a couple hours, so we're leaving. A little, we might be leaving a little bit earlier than we need to, but I don't know how big the queue is going to be for the ride to happiness. I am going to get another ride in on the ride to happiness, and I'll get a front row ride as well because I've done it in the back. I've done it near the front. However, I haven't done it on the front yet. Here we go. We're going to need to go out in this rain to get to it. Luckily, it's not too far away, so let's go. Here we go, guys. We're on the front row of the Ride to Happiness. Final ride of the day. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh, yes. That is incredible hang time. Here we go. Ready for the first launch. Here we go, any second. Whee! Here we go! Holy crap! go oh I don't know how much of that you saw my coat flying around all over the place that's an incredible ride here we go back around into the station now oh my god that was incredible that was the best ride I've had on it there we go so then guys we are now back and we've actually been back for about a week and a half so i just haven't had the time to film this i've had so much going on so that's why it's taken a lot longer to make this than i planned for it to so it was an absolutely incredible visit to Plops Landapan. It was great to get back to the park. I'd forgotten just how much I enjoyed it. Like I, I know I enjoyed I enjoyed it last time, but I enjoyed it so much more this time. And I mean I think it's probably of course due to the ride to happiness, but it, it it was an absolutely incredible ride. It really is one of the best roller coasters out there. If you've not yet ridden it, definitely recommend it i absolutely love everything about it it's a top 10 roller coaster for me absolutely stunning ride brilliant and of course it did win the award for best new coaster or best new ride in europe this year as well it really is an incredible ride if you've not yet done it definitely definitely recommend it it's such an easy park to get to here from the uk as well in fact because of where I live, it's actually less time consuming to get to Plopsaland than it is to get to Alton Towers. It's about a four hour drive to Alton Towers from where I live. It'll take you about three and a half hours, including the uh, time on the Euro Tunnel as well to get to Plopsaland, Japan. So once you get off the Euro Tunnel, it's about a 45 minute drive from uh, the Euro Tunnel to the park itself. So it, it really is very easy to get to considering it is in a completely different country from the UK. So yeah, there we go. So I did get some merch. Now in terms of merch at Plopsaland, there's not massive amounts of options. It's, it is mainly more character based stuff. Uh, however, there is a little bit of park branded stuff. I did get a mug last time I was there, uh, but I, this time I did get some merch for the Ride to Happiness. So I'll just put little clips of that on the screen now as I'm talking. So I, I got a Ride to Happiness t-shirt, really, really nice t-shirt. I love the gold on it and I love the logo on the front and then it has the big Tomorrowland logo on the back as well, because of course Tomorrowland is the theme of this ride. 
and then I also got a pin badge which is the Tomorrowland logo there's not a ride to happiness logo pin badge it is a Tomorrowland pin badge there's not much for the ride to happiness there's two t-shirts which is the one I got and then a white one as well and there's also a magnet which I got as well so all of that will be coming up on the screen now so there's a magnet for the ride to happiness however the pin badge doesn't isn't actually the ride to happiness branded it is Tomorrowland uh, branded most of the merch for this ride is Tomorrowland branded and might I add as well that because you are paying for the Tomorrowland brand with all of this merch that does therefore make uh, this merchandise a little bit more pricey the magnet cost 10 euros the pin badge was five six euro five euros I think and then the t-shirt I'm pretty sure was around 40 euros but don't quote me on that I I'm not too sure about the t-shirt but the magnet was definitely around 10 euros so yeah it's not the cheapest to merch but you are paying for that tomorrow lamp brand but there we go that's it for plops land the pan I would love to get back to this park as soon as possible and get back on the ride happiness because I'm already missing it like crazy it's an absolutely incredible ride I can't wait to get back on it in the future really is one of the best roller coasters out there as well as that Heidi that's a really really good family coaster definitely a great roller coaster if you're starting out with roller coasters and you want to do something a bit bigger than most of the other rides at Plopsaland but not quite something as big as the ride to happiness or Anubis which is another incredible ride at Plopsaland really intense launch on there some great inversions it is mainly about the launch for me for Anubis however it is a really really good ride it would definitely make a great first coaster with inversions uh, so there we go and then of course the ride to happiness is just incredible as I've already said I can't get enough of that ride it's really really is something very special to me so there we go that's now the end of this vlog here thank you very much for watching make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly Roller Coasters follow me on Twitter at George Kelly and check out my other YouTube channel at Wealthy Eagle thank you very much for watching remember to like comment share and subscribe stay safe everyone and I'll see you all later Bye.